Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about one of the interesting visual that we have in Power BI and can be used for analyzing data before doing any machine learning or understanding the nature of the data and do we have any noise on data or not uh, that his name is outlier so it has different name in R we have a chart named box plot that we use it in Power BI if you go to the import from marketplace and just search for outlier you will see that we have a box that is actually box and viscular chart that actually help us to do that so I'm going to bring it here to show you that how it works so this is a chart that I have I have a data set about the sales about 1 million rows of the data so there is possibly there is some outlier I pass that one here that is actually the uh, let's make it as an average and we have the category of the year and the ID is the sampling of the data is that one so this is actually the uh, outlier detection that we have or another uh, if I want to do it again in another data set uh, for example, for another data set about the car, I'm going to see that what's a, a outlier for the speed of the city for different years. And I just put it here to see that how it actually work. So this is a data, this is a chart set we have, but doesn't show it's still outlier, is a really uh, good uh, chart. I'm going to explain that, what is that and the other. So for example, for this chart, if I want to see the outlier, I need to go to the format to the uh, chart option and choose uh, actually one of these options and uh, sorry, make on the outlier. So you will see that there are some small actually outlier, there's a, some dots that here. Or for example, for this one, I'm able to set that I want to have that and I want to make it active. So you see that for all of them, there are some outlier. But what is outlier? What is these dots and how they can actually be there? And what's a one QR and the other information? So through that, let me start from some slides first uh, to explain. So what is outlier? What is the definition of the outlier that we have? Outlier is a data point that actually is different from other uh, similar point that we have in our data and they are totally different they are kind of uh, you may have some observation and you see that it's different so for example uh, when you create you see that it has lots of difference between the other or if you draw a regression and do some machine learning or creating a simple scatter chart you see that there are some data point that is different so these are the definition of the outlier based on the uh, the site medium data driven investor so now let's have a look so we have different different cause of the outlier one it is actually because of data entry so that is actually not just for doing machine learning even for creating the reports and charts we see that some customers provide actually wrong data so uh, of course we need to do that maybe we need to remove them or we need to back to the customer or end user and ask them about the cause of that one so that's actually one of the cause or one of the reason for the having the outlier another one is because of the wrong measurement experimental or getting the data again this is all about the data uh, gathering about the quality of the data maybe we did some uh, kind of problem and measurement uh, for example we have a device that collect the data and that something happened we have a database that is actually data is going to store that but because of some performance issue we have some problem so that's what layer maybe happened because of that so uh, and the last part is actually is about the natural so Sometimes it's happened that the, you see outlier in the data, but it's actually because of the natural thing. It's something like, uh, for example, the temperature suddenly going up because, uh, for example, some uh, some device is 
happening so it's actually provide some information about you or for example you see that in the exam all the students get this score from uh, 60 to 80 and suddenly some person is just 100 and this is the only person so maybe he provides some different approaches so not all of the uh, kind of uh, kind of the distinct line distinct data or uh, the one that is actually distinguished from the other is bad sometimes it also is natural that actually provide more insight shows a novelty in the data so these are the actually the main cause of the art layer but what is art layer actually and how is calculated and how is impact on that so art layer can impact on the average on the uh, all of the measurement like average first quarter second quarter and the other so let's look at here uh, i have a data like this that's 11 data point the average of this list of data point is 27 and the mode of this data is 34 for people that maybe don't know what is the mode, mode is actually when we sort the data and we find the physical location of the data. Now we add some data that is not in this range, like 89 and 120, and you see that is impact really high on the average and also is bit a bit change the mode. So it's actually impact. So that's why that outliers, because most of the machine learning like uh, regression like for example k-mean clustering and the other is based on the average they, they in their calculation they calculate the average of the data so when you have an outlier is impact so there are some outliers uh, that we have that they are actually uh, they are in a line of the data so here is a, a data that i have between two parameter I find the linear relationship between these two parameters as you see they are around this linear and I see another point of the data here that is actually is uh, based on is not in the location of there but it is not impact on there it's still the line is valid so this is a uh, outlier that we have that is not impact on the result so we can easily kind of remove these outliers. Another outlier that we have is actually they are uh, talking about a totally different scenario. So they are actually find different type of the relationship between the two number. So that's become a different story. Again, we need to maybe analyze these point of the data separately using some cross validation in machine learning or other analysis. If you do other analysis, you need to separate your data set to the two different things and analyze this data point apart from the other. And the other one that is actually not totally relevant. So you see that that how an outlier can be impact on the analysis. So how we can find out about analysis? So this is outlier. So in some scenario, we decided to remove them like this one. We may interested to remove them. Or for example, if this comes because of data entry or because of the measurement or experimental error, or if they are uh, talking about the separate and different scenario of the data, we may interest it first to detect them and maybe remove them. Not sure, or maybe do something about them. So let's look at that. What is the outlier and what is the box plot talking about data? So this is a chart that you see when I show you actually in Power BI, you see that this is a chart that I have. So it actually has different parameters. Let's see that what is has. So you see that there is a square shape. So there is a, a bold line in the middle that actually shows the median of the data. These two lines at the two end is minimum and maximum of the data. There are some bubbles. They are actually at the both side can be happened, maybe just one side. They are, uh, we call them outlier. I will talk about how they created. And also we have two other line uh, beside the bold line or the beside the median. So what they are. So uh, the first one name is first quartile. First quartile is the average of the data between the minimum and the median of the data. 
The same thing, the quart, the third quartile is something between the, med, the median, between the median of the data and maximum observation of the data. So these are the, the interquartile range is the difference between the first quarter and third quarter. Okay, so now we want to calculate the outlier. See that how we can do that. I provide uh, based on the data that I get from the uh, data driven invent store. I just, this is the website, so I just uh, refer to that one. They explain very good these concepts. I got some data about calculating the outlier. So this is my data set. There are 90 data, uh, data points there. The median of the data is the largest data point that actually physically location in the middle of the data. So in this data set, the number 559 and 560 is the, uh, actually the, in the middle of the data. That's average of them is this. So the median of the chart is 559.5. The second, uh, actually, calculation that I'm going to do is first quartile. If you remember, I mentioned that the first quartile is the median of the data between the minimum and the mid, that the real median of the data. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find this one. So again, I'm going to look at the first part of the data, calculate that one, and find the first quartile. The same for third quartile. I'm calculating like that. So now I have all of these things. I'm able to calculate the interquartile range. That is the difference between the third quartile to the first quartile. So I'm going to calculate that one. So this is the interquartile range. That is the third quartile minus first quartile. This is a number. In the second scenario, I'm going to calculate the lower inner face. The lower inner face that is actually here is when I subtract the first quartile minus 1.5 interquartile range. So one and a half times of the interquartile. This actually shows me the lower inner face or lower outlier at the minimum side. Uh, I can do the same for the upper interface. So for the upper one, actually I'm calculate the same, the same for the lower in, in, interface, also I calculate the same. So this is a formula that actually has been used here. So now that you have looked at the formula, we can back to the Power BI and look at the data. So here, uh, when I'm saying that, actually, I'm going to calculate the quartile as inclusive, and I want that is actually based on the calculation of 1.5 interquartile that actually comes from the D scenario, actually from this formula. And that means that I'm using this formula, and I want to show the out lawyer. As you see here, in this data set, I have huge amount of the out Layer. So you see that these are the outlier I, that I have in the data. And you can see the calculation also here. So uh, this is the data that I don't consider the outlier. So you can easily figure out that this is the data for 2018. And uh, the, the fiscal type is 1.5 QR. There are 847 data there. Uh, they are based on product ID, and these are actually my uh, kind of the calculation for quartile, first quartile, medium, and average of the data, which is really actually handy, and this actually help you to cope with the outlier, whether you want to actually, uh, you want to remove the outlier, or you want to uh, consider it as a separate data point. This is not just for machine learning, even for the analysis, for the creating the reports, you may face that you need to do something with the outlier. So in this chart, it doesn't show, but if I actually make it active, you see that you have this one, and maybe in the other calculation, like um, calculating the finan any financial calculation or the other, these outlier can impact. So you should figure out that these outlier is because of 
data entry because of the data import and export and measurement or is really something novelty in your data that provide more insight for the data thanks so much for watching this video i hope you enjoy it and uh, uh, in other in other videos i provide more uh, things about data wrangling and data cleaning uh, maybe about how we can do the normalization and scaling the data thanks so much